TNN Radio Live. This is Mike B at the House of Blues Nanaheim with the Original Lights. You're going to love it. First off, everybody introduce themselves. So, My name is Michael Belk. I play saxophone and vocals. Hey, Daniel Tello, guitar and vocals. My name is Tim Frankeny, and I play the bass. Peter Fontes, the drums. Nice. All right, guys, so I know you got a new album coming out. Um, who wants to talk about that? Well, right now we're uh, writing songs, rehearsing songs, trying to like come up with new catchy stuff, you know, get out there. And uh, along with the punk rock, the ska, the psychedelic rock, and the reggae stuff, you know. So is that something you guys are going for and is that a new direction you want to head to or, or a little more of that or is it just kind of a blend of all? We incorporate psychedelic and a whole bunch of other stuff but the point is to try to kind of cover the bases on all these genres without playing out one particular one too much. So it's not going to be necessarily a straight up only psychedelic song. Maybe it'll be like a psychedelic dance song or a psychedelic Latin song or a psychedelic metal or hardcore punk or some weird thing. You know. Who are your influences? Of, uh, vocally, of course, Sublime, but Red Hot Chip Peppers, uh, Anthony Kiedis, and then saxophone players. Um, I like a lot of stuff from John Coltrane, Stan Getz, and uh, bringing it from Scott saxophone players. Definitely old school, um, uh, yeah, Tommy McCook from the Scott Lights. Yeah, there's just, and yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, big, uh, Fishbone's real big influence, being a, a front man. And so the list goes on, but definitely tying into the old school. Who is that today? Who do you guys consider that among like contemporaries? Is delivering a message that has, you know, you would you would say, oh, we'd like to be, you know, if we were in the same grouping with that band, we'd be stoked. It's hard to find a band these days that has a similar message I guess to what we're trying to do because so much there's so much concentration on electronic what's the message behind electronic can you tell me no you can't because there is no message behind it and that's the whole thing so it's like it's essentially it's this, the same as what we grew up with in the 90s chili peppers sublime pennywise in the 90s everything was accepted does marijuana play a part in what you guys in your guys creative process see si. You know, if you're going to use something, definitely have to use, you know, marijuana as your source. <laughs> the song is written because of a chemical always, whether that chemical is THC or the chemical that made you really upset when you got broken up with. So it's always a drug, so essentially. Skating and surfing. So how does that, what role does that play in, in your guys' songwriting process or in you as a band? And then for all you bands out there, uh, skating and surfing is work. It plays into your community and the connection we have with the fans and your sponsors and business and so on. So when you tell your mom and you're in a band, tell them that you're working hard. What's the new record going to be called? At the very least, it's going to be called Volume 2. 